All right, we got this Hummer H2 here. Let me get over here. That Hummer has a 4L60E transmission in there. And the problem this thing was having was it would go from one to third gear, would not shift into second gear. And it didn't have a check engine light on. But when I checked the scanner, the scanner showed that the computer was commanding it to go into second gear. So that when, and also when I went down to the wiring and put on the amp clamp, it also showed that the computer was commanding the second the solenoids. So it should have been shifting into second gear, but it wasn't. It was going from one to three. Again, no check engine light. So here it is apart. And I thought perhaps there was something in here that was stuck, a valve. I didn't see the stuck valve. Um, there was a little metal, but it was like bronze type of metal. I couldn't determine what that was. I checked the solenoids and they were clicking so I had no idea what was going on why this thing was not shifting um, so but I had to go with my diagnosis trusted because if it, the computer was commanding the solenoids the transmission should have been shifting but it wasn't into second gear so as I began to continue to take it apart then I noticed something I haven't had this in a while. And what we see here is a, if we can look in there, a broken band. That band is broken. Let me take this out. There it goes. Part of it in there. Broken band. So, this is a would be considered, I guess, a profitable cause. If you have no second gear and it go from one to three, then it could be a broken band, as was in this Hummer H2. Now, this transmission is about to be completely rebuilt. Um, and. Now, I'm happy though because I can tell what the problem was and I can proceed without wondering what was causing the problem. Okay, again, no second gear, could have been a broke, could be a broken band.